All right, guys. As you can see, I have the entire Pro Marker collection. Ignore that. That's my little junk box where I keep all my little tools that I use all the time. And above that are my Marvy markers, my Stampin' markers. And above that are gel, um, all jelly roll pins and some U.S. Spica glitter pins by Copic. So you can see that I have Pro Markers. And I truly do like my Pro Markers. They blend well. However, they don't have enough colors in the same family to blend. If you want, this is my chart, this is my Pro Marker chart. If, when using Copics, most people know that you would use a 1, a 3, and a 5 to kind of get a really nice blend. Here, I feel like the colors jump from like 1 to 7. There's just not enough variety for me. And again, I like to color my little people different ethnicities. And as you can see, there's just not a lot of browns here. Um, not a lot of colors. It's good to start. They do work, and I like having them. However, I just can't. I can't hang with the coloring. Um, I'm trying to keep up, and, and but I can't. I can't do it because I just cannot figure out a way to make these blend better. When I say they blend, they are, they're smooth because it's an alcohol-based marker. However, the color combinations, they're just too far apart to get a bunch of different varieties. Don't get me wrong. I was able to do well with them. And I was super anti-Copic because they're so expensive. Copic markers are so expensive. You find them anywhere from, well, if you're at a show, you might find them for $450, $450 $499 $499 all the way up to $7 something. That's an expensive marker. But also with Copics, I wouldn't know where to start, what colors to buy. So what I did was I started price checking around. And I'm in the Los Angeles area. So the ones that I found that were the cheapest were at Swain's. Swain's is one of my favorite art and craft stores um, in Glendale. And they have them for, I believe, it's three. 49 right now something along those lines there is a store called Blix which is an arts and crafts store it's called Blix Studio here's the name right there Blix Studio I called around to several different ones to see if they would match the price and it turns out I found a guy who did match the price so yes ladies and gentlemen I bought the whole kitten caboodle yesterday. When you go to sleep and you just, you can't stop thinking about it and you wake up and you still can't stop thinking about it, it's like, all right, I just need to do it. So I got all four sets. I have the A, B, C, and D of these Copic markers. They're sketch. The cool thing about them that I didn't know until I saw them is that if you were to buy one set, you would not be out in the dark. For example, I think this, okay, that's the B set. I, I want to say this is the A set. I'm not 100% sure it's on the other side. But it comes with an RV13 and then like an RV10 and an RV14. So you can kind of still utilize the colors in one box, if that makes any sense. I figured if I got one box, I wouldn't be able to use any of the other colors because they would be too far apart on the color chart. But not, they're not, not at all. You could buy one and be cool, uh, assuming that you don't need, let's see, if you see here, I don't see any yellows here. Well, there's one at the end, but I'm trying to figure out how people can buy, start buying fewer Copics at a time, as opposed to doing what I did, which is just buying the whole set. I know I'm crazy. I wanted every last one because I want to be able to color using some of the color combinations that I've seen, and I didn't want to have to try to find them here and find them there and all that. So, yep, I did it. I switched to Copic. They are a lifetime marker. I will have these forever, and if I go broke one day, I'll be able to sell these probably at the drop of a dime for half of what I've spent because they are that popular right now. So, <laughs> right now I'm going to run out and buy the chart. I don't know how I left that studio, Blick Studio, without getting a chart of, for Copics. I have no idea what any of these colors are. As you can see, they're still brand new in the box, never been opened. 
uh, but that will change today. And um, by the time you guys see another video, I'm going to have these all in color order because right now they're just A, B, C, D order, the way that they come. Also, I've heard that they are coming out with Copic specifically for scrapbookers. They have an A and a B set. That's what I've heard. I couldn't find it online, but that's something that I was told at the convention yesterday. So I'm going to run back to the convention right this second. It's, they're just opening. It's 11 o'clock in California right now. And go grab a chart because a lot of the people had charts. They just didn't have full sets of the markers, so I wasn't able to buy them at the convention. So you guys, price price the markers if you want to get them and see if you can haggle and get people to beat the prices. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.